Well, it looks like not a day goes by where someone within the hashtag KickVic movement isn't caught lying about making up an allegation and falsifying evidence and using that as a grandstand to punish Vic Mignogna and accusing him of being a sexual predator as we just recently found out that Mars Girl over on Twitter had basically ran an entire lie on Vic Mignogna to where she went along in using someone's footage without consent but also manipulating the footage herself and furthering a specific narrative as once more if you guys are with hashtag I stand with Vic and love anime and Dragon Ball then be sure to go on ahead and smash that subscribe button and turn on all notifications to always stay in the loop with all latest information in regards to Vic Bignana, Monica Rial and the entire story involving this sexual scandal as Mars Girl over on Twitter went on to post a very interesting tidbit back on February 11th as she goes on to state and I quote, good lord, nobody is saying anything is wrong with him saying the line to the girl when she was of age and giving parental permission. He did not ask her her age and he asked the fathers to leave the room and he could have done this to anyone and in fact he has. As she went along to post various different videos on her Twitter as she continues, this is yet another instance where he asks is your dad here, of course insinuating a narrative that Vic Mignogna was kicking out fathers from a convention as she continues, in the above instance here, he doesn't even bother at all if a parent is there. As of course she goes on to post various different videos of Vic Mignogna at certain conventions in twisting the narrative and making Vic seem like an absolute monster in kicking parents out, kicking fathers out, well, it actually just came out that the videos that she was using was not only out of context, but a a complete lie. As an individual that goes by the name of Creepheart went on to respond to Mars on Twitter as she went on to post and I quote, Hi, I'm the girl in the video and I do not give you my permission to share this video to slander Vic in any way. I asked to him to do the line with me and he was being funny and made a joke. Do not use me or my video in your witch hunt. As she continues, also, if you even watch the video, he explains that people like you on the internet try to say he's creepy for doing this. Literally, we did a line from Oren High School Host Club, where Vic plays a character, of course, who is a very flirty character. As she continues, of course, you Vic haters will try to find anything and make Vic look even bad if that includes taking this out of context. Do not use me or my video to slander Vic. I want no part of this bullshit witch hunt. Vic is a wonderful man. As she continues, Mars Girl, I know these videos, mine included, are to post on YouTube, but since people love to take things out of context, I was wondering did you even bother asking anyone if you can use their videos as proof against Vic? I bet you didn't. I know I certainly did not. Hashtag I stand with Vic. As another individual that goes by the name of DJ Raw Fox on Twitter went on to respond to Creep by saying he also didn't ask the fathers to leave the room. He asked if her father was there and then let all the parents in the room know that it is really just a line from the show. When he asked if her father was there, it was an I don't want to get beat up sort of kind of joke. That was obvious as Creep went on, exactly. My own father thought this was funny. He knew it was a joke. He was not at the con but appreciated Vic doing that line with me and being nice to me, my sister and the rest of the fans. So Mars Girl went as far as to lie to everyone. By putting out these videos, by painting a narrative, Mars Girl is an absolute fraud. She is lying to everyone as one of the females that was a part of the con herself went on to ask permission if Vic would do the line with her. So Mars went ahead to insinuate that Vic was being creepy, that he was being, you know, some somewhat, you know, too close and having to have creepy intentions when in fact the female herself went along to ask Vic if he would do the line with her. Again, I hope you guys take the time to share this video on Twitter, Facebook, Reddit because the information needs to be broken, the word needs to be passed around that stuff like this is not tolerated. You simply can't use videos and falsifying evidence to further a narrative. If people that are a part of these conventions, these pictures are coming out and saying no, we 
consented to hugs. We consented to having to share flirty lines. We consented to our parents being there. Then how come the members of the Kick Vic movement are twisting this narrative and saying that Vic went along to ask all the fathers to leave the room when that never happened and simply having to make a joke to all the parents in the room that he didn't want to get beat up for having to simply say this line because the character he plays is a very flirtatious character. I mean, that in and of itself is written within the show. So, of course, making a joke, he said to everyone, hey, don't beat me up for saying this. Of course, jokingly, as many of the audience members themselves asked Vic and came to Vic in wanting to do lines with him. So, again, this entire propaganda, this entire narrative of Vic having to be an absolute monster is just getting worse, and I've explained this multiple times in multiple different videos and providing you guys with the best objective evidence that I can bring to you guys, and I do appreciate all of your support in subscribing and leaving all your comments down below because a lot of you guys do have great intellectual conversations amongst each other and with me, and I do have to say thank you so much for your support, and once again, hit that subscribe button because this is not the end. We have have so much more for you guys that it's going to blow your mind but this right here is an example you can't simply use things and take things out of context but not only that without even having to understand the gravity of what's happening but instead you see a bunch of females surrounding Vic and you want to paint that narrative that he's the bad guy although a lot of the people that are attending this convention are there to meet him and consenting hugs and consenting to have lines be shared with them so if you're telling me that if I were to meet Vic Mignogna, and if I were to want Vic Mignogna to recite a Broly line with me, that would insinuate that he would be creepy if we were to come off and doing the Broly laugh and saying, <laughs> I'm the devil, and stuff like that. That doesn't make any sense. You're taking things out of context. So again, she's lying, and she's manipulating the information having to be presented to further her own narrative. And that has been presented to us tonight by Creepheart over on Twitter. So again, you guys can make up your judgment for yourselves. Let me know in the comment section below as to what you guys think because this is not only egregious, but I highly encourage you guys to pass this video along to all the other YouTubers, Yellow Flash and Rakita Law and many other people as we will be covering this as the days go on by because it's egregious to see how people are pointing the finger simply by having to give hugs and share lines and then painting that narrative that he's a bad guy simply by having to be fan friendly or having to interact with a fan upon their wishes. Someone coming to Vic and saying, hey, could you please do this line with me? For him having a grand that wish to you and having to do that with you all of a sudden he's a bad guy what kind of world are we living in here nothing seems to make any sense anymore but again i want to get your thoughts in the comment section below i do not condone harassment i do not condone anyone attacking mars girl or any other individual that is supporting her in this case but i do encourage you guys to challenge one another's intellectual stance as to why they're backing up their stances and simply having to ask questions because i think by asking questions sometimes you're bound to get your answer. So again, thank you all so much for watching, guys. Once more, if you guys are for hashtag I stand with Vic, and if you guys enjoyed the video, please take the time to go ahead and slap a like down below. Share this video on Facebook, Twitter, all over the social media. And if you guys are unaware of my primary channel, Unreal and Gaming, be sure to go ahead and head over there for more awesome Dragon Ball content, Dragon Ball mangas, fan fiction, gaming, and all other fun stuff. If you guys want to be removed from all this drama and simply having to have a good time, God bless you all. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll be seeing you all in the next update video. Take it easy, guys. Peace.